Greetings, boys and girls. It is now time for phonics. Today, we're going to take all of the sounds we've learned so far to read the book, Here Come the Poodles. First, you'll listen to me read the book. Then, you can read the book on your own. Let's get started. Here come the poodles. Five trained poodles are going to the theater to be in a show. The owner of the poodles is driving. They are late and he is trying to hurry. Making a turn, he hits a pole by mistake. The side opens and all the poodles scoot. They speed away. No, no, says the owner. Don't go away. Please come here. We've a show to do tonight. It doesn't work. The poodles like being free. So they keep going. One poodle finds a high wire. He tries it. Wait, say Steve and Kay. Those clothes are clean. Are your feet dirty? One poodle takes a seat. He waits for the waiter to bring him a meal. The waiter doesn't believe the poodle means it. The other people smile. Another poodle finds someone riding a bike on a shady street. She goes with her. They ride for a mile or two. They like to feel the breeze. One is thirsty and takes a drink. The drink is cold. It tastes fine. One likes to swing. He keeps going higher and higher. Rose and Tony swing with him. They think he's a silly poodle. Another likes to slide. She slides feet first. Rick slides behind her. Joan holds the pole before she slides. Two other poodles play a tilting game. One poodle goes high, the other goes low. The board hits the dirt with a boom. One likes skateboards. She takes a free ride. Wait for me, says the owner of the skateboard. I like to ride too. These poodles try to go for a ride below the street. They came to a booth. May I see your tokens, says the person in the booth. No tokens, no ride. So they return to the street. All the poodles meet in front of a big store. They go into the store. One uses the stairs. No one is near him. One takes a slow ride on moving stairs. Three people ride the stairs with her. One takes a speedy ride. She meets a girl waiting for a ride. They meet again. They go all over the store. Higher in the store, they find a sleeping kitty and they scare the kitty. It hides and they try to find it. One poodle is on the showcase. Her tail hits things. They tip over and break. The other poodle hits some tubes with his nose. They tip over too. The kitty stays away. 
the owner of the store comes and sees the poodles. He doesn't like broken things all over his store. Please go away soon, he says. The poodles leave. I need a broom. I'll sweep these things away. I like things clean and neat, he says. Behind the store, the poodles see five thieves hurrying away with some loot. The poodles leap in front of the thieves. The thieves trip over the poodles. The poodles take a rope and tie the thieves to a tree. They find the owner of the store. They take him to the thieves. The owner of the store is surprised to see the thieves. He is pleased too. He gives the news to the mayor. The mayor, Mrs. Ramos, comes to see the poodles. You are brave poodles, says the mayor. We need more poodles like you. The owner of the poodles is with the mayor. I need these poodles too, he says. Please come to see the poodles in my show tonight. And he drives away with the poodles. That was a great story, boys and girls. Now it's time for you to read the story on your own. Remember, you can also start the video from the beginning so that you can read along with me for extra practice. Are you ready? Here we go. Please begin reading.
reading, boys and girls. Remember, practice makes perfect. So read this book many times. See you next time.